What's up YouTube? It's killer 3 g Back with another video. No, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, it's been some movies out there I've been wanting to make videos on. I just hadn't found the time. Been really, really busy in my life. Uh, a lot of things going on, especially with the hurricane and all that going down, down South Texas. I got family down there. I moved from down there. So, um, yeah, I've been pretty busy, but I'm back. And um, <clears throat> this video is another... Uh, comparison video and this time it's gonna be a side-by-side -side comparison all right so uh, here my main TV that I use on a daily basis is the Samsung QLED KS 9800 and there's other youtubers who have TVs and uh, they pretty much just bash OLED I mean LED TVs and um, you know I make videos showing pretty much dark levels and you know comparison and settings on this TV and I have a B6 which is last year's um, entry-level OLED and you know I said that I thought that this produced a better you know it was, it was just as dark um, brighter just as sharp not sharper I mean there were some things that the OLED was better at but pound for pound I thought the picture was better on here so I made a few videos um, pretty much showing, you know, uh, demos like movies, clips, uh, things. And, you know, a lot of it's positive, but then I've getting a lot of negative feedback as well. So, <clears throat> you know, finally got some time and I was like, you know, maybe maybe it was just the B6. Maybe it was the B6. Maybe I didn't give OLED a fair shake. I mean, I have it in my room on the wall. And uh, I just really didn't think the picture was better than this picture. Now, that's not saying the picture was great. I mean, it wasn't great, but just my opinion, pound for pound versus this TV, I thought this TV was better. But, you know, I've been accused of being a Samsung uh, employee. <laughs> and uh, I just, I like tech. I mean, whatever I spend my money on, it's going to be whatever I feel is better or whatever I like to my use. I don't really sway one way or the other. I get you know all of the game systems and all of the movies everything I don't really have a I'm not paid from anyone so I'm not biased towards anyway anything so anyway I rambled old enough <clears throat> this is the start of the video so what I'm gonna do now is I went out and I purchased myself the newer OLED TVs that way I can do a side-by-side -side comparison because my b6 is on wall mounted in the room down the hallway <clears throat> so I end up picking up a 65 inch C7 and uh, not gonna do an unboxing but I'm definitely gonna unbox this bad boy set it up give myself some time to mess with it get the settings to close to what I like and then I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side video and I'm going to see if the improvements that they made on this year as far as being brighter, more color. Um, not change my mind because I do think OLED is the future and I do think OLED, OLED is a great TV. And if you do have an OLED, you know, I can't blame you for feeling like the TV you bought is the best TV. Because a lot of, a lot of videos you watch, a lot of reviews you'll see, they're telling you it's the best TV just my personal experience from having both and uh, from seeing a lot of youtubers pretty much bash LED like it's a it's, it's a dead technology which it's not because full array backlight TVs are amazing if they're done right from the right companies I know Sony's made good ones uh, Samsung has good ones Philips has good ones Panasonic has good ones so you just really got to look at the right ones you can't look at an entry-level TV compare it to an OLED and then trash LED based off of the performance of an entry level LED TV versus a superior OLED. That is all I'm trying to say here. I'm not telling you to go buy this one. I'm not telling you to go buy that one. Make your own decision, but I bought both and I'll make videos. That way you can make the decision for yourself. So <clears throat> when people do that, it just really gets, it's on my nerve because it, it's YouTubers with bigger followings that I have and you know people really listen to them so if they say one thing being biased people are gonna think that's right and they'll go out and they'll do it so yeah 
I'm I'm that guy, I'm that, that black sheep that just goes against the system. And, uh, you know, I'm not, again, being biased towards anything, just whatever I think is, is better. It's my money. I spend my money on what I like, and whatever I think is better, I tell you people or you guys that, you know, I think it's better. Um, and that's all it is. Comparing an entry-level LED to a superior OLED is like, you got Apple, people who got Apple iPhones, right? They're really, really big into iPhones and it's Apple everything and it's Apple or nothing. That's kind of like how the OLED community is. <clears throat> it's Apple or nothing. And then you can get these entry level cricket phones that they give you for free and compare it to an iPhone and the iPhone will destroy it. And then guess what they say? iPhone is better than Android, right? And then they just, Everything that runs an Android system, iPhone is better in because it destroyed that entry-level Android phone. Well, Samsung makes a hell of a phone. LG makes a hell of a phone. You know, there's companies out there that make badass phones. And it's unfair for you to say just because they run their version of Android and iPhone's better than the entry-level version of Android, that's the end-all be-all. And that's pretty much what I'm saying here with these videos. So I initially was going to make this video and it was going to be maybe a minute and 20 seconds of just an entry. And then I was going to pause it, unlock this bad boy and uh, mess with it, save this video and then do some editing and make another video in the morning after I've spent time with this TV. So I'm going to stop this video here and then when I pick up, it'll probably be the next day and I would have more info and I'd have messed around with the settings and got everything the way I like it. So I will see you guys in just a second.